Well, welcome back. Our next guest starred in the series Once and Again and the film A Walk to Remember. This season, he has joined the cast of the uh, hit NBC drama ER. Did you order a tox screen on my patient? Which one? You know which one, Tunny. The altered by Carrier. I can't order tests on my patients behind my back. Your analysis was negative for opiates, benzos, PCP, cannabis, cocaine, amphetamines, you name it. Okay, so now we know. No, what we know is that this is the second time you've been wrong about one of my patients today. You know what? It's the last. You treat your cases and I'll treat mine. Please welcome Shane West. Nice to see you. Um, David, first of all, I'd like to say if you would like to touch me at any time during the show. You're more than what. Back off, Jack. Back off. Thank you. Now, now Shane, I, I noticed in that clip, I mean, just from all my experience on the X Files and memorizing dialogue on a daily basis like that, you just rattle off, you know, cannabis, blah, 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 PCP. PCP. I would, <laughs> now, I, I'm not saying that. You know, when I, when I would have, uh, you know, kind of a scientific or pseudoscientific dialogue that I had to memorize, yeah. I would do it phonetically. So I, wouldn't, I wasn't, wouldn't even think of what I was saying. Do you ever do that? It's, it's difficult. Yeah. I got to tell you. I mean, we, uh, there's a lot of tricks. I mean, yeah. some of the tricks to the trades are um, if, you're, if you're looking at some things that you don't really quite get, you kind of write them down. You write them down over and over and over again, and right. then you finally get it after a while. Right. Well, I never did get it. That was the... <laughs> That's a, that's a I don't know if I've gotten it yet. That's either, the difference. I no, you. I think you have. You look great in that clip. Thank <laughs> you. The, the other thing that I used to do is, uh, it used to get you know hot and boring sometimes when you're you know you're you're working on a show. And you, you start. Well, those aren't two the same things, but you know you work on the show. You start in the summertime, right? And that's it right. would get hot. And uh, by the time the camera got into close up, I would usually have my pants off because it was it was really you do hot. That too. Yeah, so yeah, you do. Yeah, Did you yeah. ever do that? Um. Not on ER, but once and again. You did it on once and again? You, you did close-ups with your pants off. Yeah. It's a family show, too, so yeah. I don't know if it went over very well. Do you, do, you, do you think that it affects your work in some way when you work without pants? It's breezy. <laughs> it's a little breezy. Yeah. I had always had this idea that I would like to do a, a, uh, a close-up completely naked just to, just, to, just to see. No, honestly. Honestly, just to see, see what it does to your... You know, because there you would be completely naked to the world, and that's the kind of vulnerability you want in this particular close-up. And they would never know. They would never they know. They would but, never know. But it would be one of those tricks that you could have as an actor. <laughs> um, now, how did, how, did you, how did you get the... You, you always have that in your bag. You can always get naked. I got that. I got that. Um, how, did, how did you get the gig on... Uh, how did you get the gig on ER? Uh, it was an interesting story. I mean, I... Basically, I went in for a general meeting with everybody over at Warner Brothers, and I, I wasn't really aware that. Well, it was let's explain. Score. General meeting means uh, uh, yes. not, they have no intention of hiring you. Exactly. <laughs> That's good. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. And I didn't have an intention of being hired. Right. But, um, I wasn't aware that it was for ER. I didn't know if it was for film or, or what it might have been. But my band, uh, Johnny Was, had actually performed the night before. Johnny uh, Was. Johnny Was. Yeah. Johnny, the name of the band, Johnny Was. Okay. That's right. And uh, I came in with. Uh, Black nail polish and uh, eyeliner and all that fun stuff. Right. And I walked in, and I guess that's something they were looking for for the show. They like that. They, they enjoy it. It's why I have it on right now. Yeah. You sure it wasn't just a personal thing on the part of one or two of the producers? <laughs> I, I haven't been on the show long enough right. to know that yet. But yeah, we might you're going to start it. getting fruit baskets with nice smelling notes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I mean, when you're playing a doctor like that, or are you playing a doctor? I'm sorry. That's right. You are playing a doctor. <laughs> A medical show. I, right. Uh, all I heard was cannabis. I zoned out. That and the PCP. Yeah, yeah. PCP. No, no, not the PCP. Not PCP. Uh, no. the, the, you're, you're dealing with blood a lot when you're when you're. Yes. And so, uh, you're no, you're not a doctor, really, are you? No, I'm not. Um, no. Did you have a uh, did you have a problem with with blood or? Actually, yes, I have. I've always had a problem with blood. I can't really watch surgery, uh, the surgery channel and those type of shows. I always got very faint. And I thought it must have been hard would... growing up, not being able to watch the surgery channel. It was really hard. <laughs> and all the other kids were off watching the surgery, the surgery channel. The surgery channel, I was stuck watching. There was Shane. Watching SpongeBob SquarePants or whatever else. Watching the Red Sox. Watching the... 
Um, the wax. Yeah, so you can't watch the surgery. It's, it's hard. It was always hard for me. I don't know why. But um, getting onto the show, I don't know if it's the fact that it, it, maybe it doesn't smell like real blood. I don't know what real blood wow. smell like. But I know you've dealt with a lot of blood yourself. But um, I, I love the smell of blood. <laughs> Very sexy. Doesn't taste like real blood. It doesn't taste like real blood either. I can see why they gave you the job. Shane. <laughs> and they gave me the job because of that. But I mean, in the end, it was just—it was very. For some reason, it's been easier than I thought it was going to be. The the fake blood. The fake blood. The fake yeah. blood, very sticky, as I recall. Very sticky. Very sticky, and uh, especially on the surgical gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are these are the hardships of working in a medical drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, now you mentioned your 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 fingernails. Uh, That's right. You, yeah. And you mentioned Johnny was the band. That's uh, right. What's yeah. that about? Um, it's a band I've had for about four years now. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a rock and roll band, kind of, um, kind of punk style, but um, from like the late seventies, early eighties. I heard you. I heard you, you. You ran over some some livestock. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> we went. We actually we went on tour um, and um, going through the Midwest, somewhere in the Midwest. I'm uh -huh. not sure what town, but um, there was a lot of uh, dead deer on the road, <laughs> and we happened to. I know that town. We happened to take one out, and um, you, took a dead, you took a dead we deer. We took out. a dead deer out, just to make sure everybody knows that it wasn't a live deer. Right. Um, and uh, we pulled over to a gas station and found that a part of its carcass was hanging on the bottom of our minivan. It was on the bottom of the van. It now, was. It was a rib cage. That's actually. disgusting. Now, now I don't. I, I've never been in a band, but uh -huh. I, I don't know how the hierarchy works. Right. But I'm thinking that the drummer has to clean it off. <laughs> Is that right? Because I would think, well, like, you're, are you the singer? The lead singer, yeah, yeah. Singer does lead singer sing, syndrome. Yeah. Singer does not clean yeah. out deer carcass. No, no, no. Maybe if the drummer, they're sometimes muscular. Maybe the bassist, but not the, the singer drummer. or the guitarist does not clean out deer carcass. Actually, Is that right? we had a roadie. The roadie cleared it out. Uh, the roadie had to do okay. that. We were so sorry. it goes. But. Lead singer, guitarist, bassist, drummer, roadie. Roadie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, you can catch ER Thursday nights on NBC. Our thanks to Shane West. Terrific. We'll be right back with the Pussycat Dolls.